Hello, my name is Mary Decatur and I work for the X-Ray Application Support Team. Today I want to take a few minutes to walk you through how to add the Color Checker Passport plugin manually into your Lightroom application if it's not being recognized after installing our software. To begin with, let's navigate over to the Lightroom application. For the purposes of this video, I'm working in Lightroom 3 and I'm on a Windows 7 system. To begin, we're going to start in the library mode. Underneath the bottom left hand corner, you should see a large import and a large export option. Go ahead and click on export. Here is where you should see the X-Ray presets along with the color checker passport option. In some cases, you may not be seeing this preset at all. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and show you how to resolve that. Simply click on the plugin manager. And now if you notice, in my case, the plugin passport is showing that it's installed, but it's cautioning me that it may not be working properly. That's because I've enabled and disabled mine a few times without relaunching Lightroom. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and disable it. Now you'll notice, while it shows up in the list, the radio button is completely unhighlighted. And we're gonna say done. And now when we go back to our presets page, it no longer shows up at all. This can be quite common if it is installed but not in a state of being ready to use. So to change that, we're just gonna go ahead and go back into the plugin manager, highlight it, and click on the enable option. I'm not gonna worry that it's showing me that it's not able to work at this point because I know that it will actually work. So we're going to, going to click done to go back to our presets page. Here, we're gonna go ahead and highlight the color checker passport so that the plugin options now become available. Here, you are now given the opportunity to give your DNG profile a specific name. For this case, I'm just simply gonna call it Canon and the conditions for the shot were very cloudy. I'd like to remember that for when I'm applying this to my images at a later time. Next, simply click on Export. If you notice, this is showing on the top left co corner that it truly is processing the image. And that will continue to process in the background, allowing me to go further and do additional work within Lightroom. If you're still having a problem, and the problem was not necessarily that you were not enabled, but you don't see the color checker passport in the list. And when you went into the color checkers, or excuse me, to the plugin manager, it wasn't listed here either. That could simply mean that we need to manually add it. So to do so, we're gonna click the add box, and this will now allow us to browse this folder properly. The path on a Windows 7 system is gonna be the C drive, users, your username, in my case, Mary Decatur, app data, roaming, Adobe, Lightroom, and modules. Since I was already highlighted to this path, once you get to the modules folder, you'll notice that with inside it, there is an X-Rite Color Checker Passport dot lr plugin that simply click on that folder to highlight it and that folder name will now populate within the folder option here say okay and then that's going to bring you back to another screen where you're going to need to click add and then we're going to say okay and done this box that just popped up is showing me that my profile has generated successfully. However, Lightroom will need to be restarted to activate the file. That's okay. We'll say okay for that box to go away. And now we're going to say done. If you're working on an, a Microsoft Vista system, this is going to be the same path that you're going to navigate to when installing it. If you're on an XP system, however, there are some slight differences and you'll need to go to your C drive, and documents and settings, then your username, application data, Adobe, Lightroom, 
and then the Modules folder. Once again, select the X-Rite Color Checker Passport plugin and click Add Plugin. If you're on a Mac operating system, all of these options are going to look extremely similar to you. As on the Windows system, you're still going to want to go in to the Export option, which will again bring you into your, your presets so that you can get into your plugin manager. The difference here is when you click on Add, you're going to navigate to Library, Application Support, Adobe, Lightroom, and Modules. Once again, within your Modules folder, select the X-Rite Color Checker Passport.LR plugin and click Add Plugin. Now you should see that in your list and you're going to go ahead and select Done. And that is how you manually add the Lightroom plugin so that you can begin creating profiles and using your Color Checker Passport manually. Thank you and happy profiling.